Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Vixie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first ever Plan With Me set up. Uh, and I'm using this gorgeous kit from Planner Pixie Co. It's called Down on the Farm. And the reason that I chose this is because I am actually doing a cottage core theme for August. So before I start doing this Plan With Me set up, uh, I actually want to show you how I set up August. I actually did have this as a full on setup video, but we are in lockdown at the moment and my children are home, my teens are home from school. They're online learning. My 12 year old yesterday, even though she knew I was filming, she decided to make a whole mess of noise upstairs where I am. And all you could hear in the background of my video was her yelling and screaming at her sister and her sister's friends on FaceTime and then her dad for some reason, who was downstairs in the garage. So I, I don't know. It was unusable footage. I couldn't use it at all. So I'm really, really sorry. There will be no August setup video, but this is the next best thing. Having said all of that, this is my August. It is the cottagecore theme because I have been obsessed with cottagecore since I started playing Animal Crossing so many months ago. And this is my actual splash page. And I love this. This is so cool. It's a collage of just images that I found on Canva because I find everything on Canva pretty much. And I'm a little bit sad because everything printed like super dark, um, but it, it's okay. I still really like how it turned out and I'm really happy that I did it this way. It just makes me really, really happy. Look at the puppy dog. Anyway, I really just like how it turned out. So then I have my what I'm watching, playing and reading list. And I added a new book from last month, actually. It's called The Song of Achilles, and I am in love with this book so far. It is so, so, so good. My monthly tasks, I have brought over some from July. All right, so this is July's, and I didn't do a few things. I didn't finish my two books, and I'm at this point, I think I'm probably going to DNF The Lies of Locke Lamora, which is the Gentleman Bastard series, because uh, I just, even though it's an amazingly written book, it really, it, the, the author is an amazing writer, for sure. I just cannot get into it. It's just, it's not my genre, and I just... I'm struggling so hard with it, so I don't think I'm going to finish it. Uh, didn't get into fully cleaning the garage. We did start, but didn't finish. Did not clean off my phone, so I have migrated that. I don't know if I'm even going to do it this month, to be honest. I probably should. I, I mean, I know I should. I keep putting it on my task list. It's been on my task list every month, all year. Like, sit down and do it, for God's sake. Didn't delete my bots either. Definitely need to do that. Uh, yeah, so, but a lot of other things I got done, so yay me. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, I need to finish decluttering my clothes. I got some of it done. Didn't get all of it done, though. Definitely want to finish two books this month and I, I have The Song of Achilles which I'm almost done with already. I only got it like two days ago and I because I read on uh, my phone like on my iPad on the iBooks or Apple Books whatever it's called and um, I've been picking it up like at every opportunity. I'm just oh my god it's such a good book. Um, yeah I want to clean up my pantry, rearrange my printer, set up an iPad station which I thought actually would be a really good thing to do if I was going to do my Udemy course because that way I could just watch it right here on my computer and then just draw my iPad you know and I want to set up my modem. Oh yeah, I got a modem. <laughs> I got it for work actually. It's personal wide rings and I love it and it's gorgeous and I want to show you, but I don't have any insets or anything for it yet uh, because I don't actually know how I want to set it out. So I haven't found anything. I'm kind of leaning towards cloth and paper, even though I know everyone uses cloth and paper, but that's kind of where I'm leaning. I just, I don't, I just generally don't know how I'm going to set it out. Then I have my mood tracker, which I have, you know, every month unless I forget to put it in. <clears throat> July, I'm looking at you. My event calendar. So uh, it's a bit sparse at the moment because we are in lockdown we started a hard lockdown in the beginning of the month and we're still in it it's supposed to lift on sunday on the 8th i don't know if it will hopefully it will queensland's doing really well at, at controlling the spread so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed it will lift uh and then i have my youtube video my planner video so i actually did film this setup uh yesterday it was the fourth yesterday today's the fifth and yeah couldn't use it but it's completely unusable there's a cat scratching at my door if it's not a cat it's a kid and so I've just scribbled out in pencil some of the other videos that I want to get done this month uh, because a few of you have asked me to do, you know, certain videos and I would really like to do those for you. So I have already penciled in when I plan on doing them. And then I have my Instagram, my social media tracker. So my goals for this month is going to be 500. Although if I do go and get off my butt and actually go and delete all of those ghost accounts that I've got, it's going to be well under 500. I'll probably be well under, there's probably, I'm not even joking, there's probably around 150 accounts that aren't even real accounts. They're all bots or ghosts and I need to get rid of them. I just need to get rid of them. And I just, I'm lazy and I haven't done it yet. So that could change. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If I get around to deleting them this month, that will most likely change. All the inserts, by the way, for these calendars are from Printable Kate. All of the shop links will be in the description. Sorry, hers isn't a shop link. It's a freebie, and uh, but I will have it in the description anyway. The August sticker here and all of these date covers, I'm just, and this washi here, I just make myself in Canva. Um, the mood tracker, a lot of people have asked me about this. The mood tracker, I make myself 
the grid I just make myself in the Silhouette Studio software and this uh, key uh, I just made in Canva. Both of these I made in Canva myself. Love them. Oh my God, didn't they turn out so beautiful though? Oh my gosh, just love them so much. Yeah, all of these pictures came from Canva and the little calendar is from SM Plans Facebook group, her freebie. That's, that's her freebie for the month and I'll have that linked as well. Where was I up to? Oh yeah, okay, so my Instagram. And then I have my video title checklist. No, it's not video title checklist at all, is it? It's a YouTube checklist. And that's where I did my August setup. And as you can see, I didn't, it just, it, it scratched out because it got deleted. And then I have my video ideas. So these are the videos that I want to do for this month. So if you have any other suggestions, drop them below and I'll see about getting them done for you. Uh, and then both of these will also be linked in the description because I did not make these myself. But anyways, now we can get on to doing the actual week, even though we're already partway through it. So let me show you what I normally do. This is how I normally have my weekly overview set out. So I have my weekly overview here and then I just have a picture usually with a decorative piece of acetate or vellum in between. And I liked this insert pretty well, um, but I wanted to switch it up because I really just didn't want to do more pictures. I kind of wanted like a bullet journal style and I don't know if I actually nailed it or not, but I just wanted to give this layout a go because I haven't actually done anything like this before. All right, sorry about that. My 15 year old came in to get batteries. So what was I saying? Right, uh, my layout. Uh, I guess we'll just get into this right now. This is going to be my weekly overview for the week of August 2nd through uh, August 8th. And I need to just get this stuff down. So I guess we'll just get started. I am really so sad that I didn't get to upload my August setup. I know so many of you really like seeing those. I like them too. They're honestly setup videos are like my favorite. I have been binge watching because I got a motor. I have been binge watching rings setups like you would not believe. I oops, I am so excited to set mine up. I just have to figure out what I want to do and how I want to lay it out because the way I've got my current personal wide laid out, I have just a cheap personal wide that I picked up from Kmart and I like it, it's fine, but it's, I don't, I don't really know how to explain what I'm feeling. I think I might actually have too many sections. I don't think I need to have as many sections as what I've got, but I mean, it's fine. It was, it was a trial. I was just even trying to see if I even liked rings because I used to use them many years ago and I never found my planner group with them. And so I ended up, because I have this uh, A5 Kiki K planner that I got back in 2000 and, oh God, I don't even know. I want to say 2013. My husband and my, my girls gave that to me for Mother's Day. And I loved it at the time. I don't love it now because it has rusted all in the middle of the where the rings are. That whole area has just rusted completely. And I'm really upset about it, to be honest. But plus the A5 actually ended up being too big for me anyway. I felt like I just had too much space and couldn't utilize it all properly. So that's sort of why I ended up going for a, what I thought was an A6 rings from Kmart. Turns out it was a personal wide, which is completely fine. But as it turns out, that's a perfect size for me because it's not, it's not big, it's not too small. It's, it's really just, it's just right. But yeah, that was just like a trial for me, the, um, to see whether or not I would like it. All right, I wanna actually put in, I don't, I'm really scared I'm gonna stuff this up. I wanna highlight the whole thing because this, I, I intentionally made this insert so that it didn't have dates on it. So I could actually just use stickers if I wanted to. And I kind of don't want to use stickers at the moment. My kit from the Planner Pixie Co, it has a lot of pinks in it. And I think that's kind of what I want, but I know this is, I don't think this is the right sort of pink. I don't know, I guess we'll see. This is the only pink pen I have, so. Oh. No, it doesn't match at all. Whatever, that's fine. Done it now. Can't go back now. Although I have to say, uh, one of you told me about um, the friction pens because I use a friction pilot um, erasable. And one of you had told me that they make highlighters and I still haven't looked into that. I only just forgot, I, sorry, I only just remembered about it actually. So <laughs> I, need to, I need to look into that um, so that I can pick them up and see if they work for me. Because if I didn't like that, I could have erased it. Oh, actually, I also want to highlight the week that we're on. There we go. Not, I do want to see if I've got date dots, and I do. I, know, I knew I had some, actually. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to uh, use them or not. So we'll just put these down. Where do I want them? Maybe over here. I actually really like this layout. I ended up watching a video from Annie, oh, Annie, Annie Plans. And she does a lot of bullet journaling, like her style is bullet journal, but ugh, her style is bullet journal style. Same as the Foxycorn actually, like shana has got some amazing spreads in her B6 Stellogy and she does, hers is a bullet journal as well. And um, so I sort of just took inspiration from both of them. And then I went on Pinterest 
because Pinterest is a black hole that I love going down. <laughs> and I found so many beautiful bullet journal spreads on there that I was trying to recreate. I hear a child outside my door again. Yeah, I found so many different bullet journal spreads that I fell in love with and I thought they were just beautiful. But I cannot recreate them at all. This is why I do everything on Canva or sorry, in Canva and print it out because I can't do it otherwise. I just, I am not talented and God knows I can't draw a straight line. Anyways, okay, so for this week, I've actually been, can I show you this? Yeah, I've actually been using my um, my personal rings, my personal wide rings for, with all my dailies. I found, I can't tell you where I got this insert from. It's not mine. I didn't create it. I did download it and there's no, I can't remember where I got it from. And the person who created it doesn't have their tag on the PDF at all anywhere, which is really disappointing because uh, I, I wanted to give this person credit. It, this I love this insert. It's amazing. And I just wanted to go through and see what I had in there that I could put on that had come up this week. So I did initially have a hair appointment that had to get rescheduled. It's actually been canceled. So I had to get rescheduled, but I haven't gotten that rescheduled yet because we're still in lockdown. So I'm just going to write that here. Lockdown. Okay. So I had hair appointment, which would have happened we had an orthodontist appointment, which did happen. I needed to order grocery this week. I do this every week, it's not just this week. And then we have grocery delivery. And honestly, that's about it. But I also wanted to get some cleaning done. I, do I, I don't think I even have a too clean sticker. I need a too clean script, actually. That's what I need. Wait a second. There might be some scripts on here. I'll show you this kit too. It's absolutely stunning. I love Planner Pixie Co. She's one of my favorite shops. Oh, no, oh, she's taken off her scripts. <laughs> she took off her scripts. All right, yep, I just don't have any too clean scripts. So I'll use a different color for that actually. Too clean, <laughs> it's so dumb. Okay, anyways, uh, so we wanted to robo back. I love this Robovac, honestly. We got the, um, it's a Roborock version five, I think, version five S Max or something like that. And it has been an absolute lifesaver. We run that thing all the time. It is aces. And we've used the mopping function on it too. It's not great. It's really not great. So you have to do like a preliminary mop to get your floors clean, but it's great just to like run over like every couple of days or like once every two days or something just to keep it clean. It's, oh my God, it's so good. Highly recommend. If you can afford one, get one. They're so good. I wanted to clean the laundry, which I have not done and the cat litter oh and I wanted to wash the sheets which I haven't done either wash sheets okay and I've added on daily trackers because I actually wanted to be better at doing this for PM skincare we're on Thursday right now I did skincare yesterday in the PM and on Tuesday in the PM oh and I've been reading every day this week so and I've even been reading today, even though it's Thursday, I've been reading today because I'm absolutely obsessed with this Song of Achilles book. And I did my Insta post today, I did one yesterday, and I haven't done any stretching for this week at all. So that could actually be removed from this daily thing. And I might change that actually to walking the dog because I tend to do that and I do that a lot. So this is when my original hair appointment was. And I liked to give myself a lot of space to write just in case there's gonna be a lot of things. Cause that happens sometimes. There's, you know, some days are much busier than other days. This week, not so much. And I don't actually know how busy, I mean, my week so far hasn't been terribly busy. Uh, we order groceries on Wednesday. And our grocery delivery is always on Thursdays. Unless I order it too late on Wednesday and then I have to get it a different day. Cause I like to get it super early on Thursdays, like between 6 and 6 a.m. and like 10 a.m. Oh, we had our orthodontist appointment on Wednesday as well. At 9.15. And I think that's pretty much it. Like I don't, I can't really put anything else on here because really nothing else has happened. This got canceled, so we'll just scratch that off. And then I'll go back in and fill in my dinners. Okay, so next week, I don't really even know what's going on because I don't know if we're gonna be in lockdown. So I can't really fill that out just yet either. But actually for Sunday, this is when lockdown is supposed to end. So I'm just gonna write lockdown ends, question mark. All right, so now we can get into actually not miss pages so actually setting up for the week so this is this gorgeous kit from Plano Pixie Co so like I said I print and cut all of my own sticker sheets because I just prefer to do that and it's it's much quicker for me to do this than having to place an order and having to wait for it to come in I'm extremely impatient despite that I order from AliExpress all the time and it takes like three months to get here but anyway that's 
neither here nor there. So this um, kit is called Down on the Farm and I love this so much. Oh my gosh, I hope you can see this okay. <laughs> Look at these little piggies. Oh my God. And this little chicken. I, I swear to God, I need to live on a farm in theory. Probably not in, in real life. Like, you know, in practice, it probably wouldn't go down very well at all. Here we have um, the date headers and some washi. I normally go ahead and uh, cut this washi in half because this is not enough washi. This is only... There's only four days right here. Sorry. Yeah. One day, two days. Yeah, it's four days right here after I cut them in half and there's seven days in a week, so I need more. So we have some plain colored boxes, some pretty not plain colored boxes, <laughs> some glitter headers and some little uh, check boxes or checklists, I guess. And I really love her work boxes right here. Although I think this is her new format in her kit and I really prefer the old format that had, it was, it was like more bubbly and it looked, I don't know, it looked cuter, but I, I do like this. And then I've got some more date headers here, some more checklists. These little boxes here, which I'm really, I've never used these before. I'm not really sure what I would use them for. If you use them, if you use any of her kits and you use these, let me know what you use them for. Uh, trackers, which I don't use, and builders, which I don't use. And then we have some pretty little decorative um, stickers, which I love. I have really been getting into using these a lot lately. And some more functional stickers. And then there's just a sheet of extras. Okay, I just went and cut down some of the washi that I'm going to use. But I also have this washi too, which is just stunning. And I think I actually want to use that in conjunction with this green. I'm going to use that one on the bottom and I'll put this one along the top because I think it's just gorgeous. And this I'm pretty sure I picked up from Daiso. So if you have a Daiso, highly recommend checking them out to see if they've got some really nice washies. Uh, this one is really, and I have a peachy colored one as well, which I don't think I have down here with me. It's up, my, it's up on my shelf somewhere, I think. Yeah, I don't have this one down here with me, but they're just beautiful. I love them. So I like to have all of my skinny washies at the bottom, usually, if I can. Sometimes the kits don't have skinny washies, or sometimes I don't have a skinny washi, so I don't have much choice and I have to use a fat washi, but I really prefer the skinny ones at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put down a date header here. What was, was the first? No, the second was Monday. Right. It's very weird doing this on camera. I have never done a weekly setup on camera before, so this is weird. And knowing that I'm not going to fill it out with you either is even weirder. Where are the dates? So please bear with me as I get my ish together. I guess it's just like one of those things where the more you do it, the more it becomes easy. And I really don't like that at all. This date dot, because it matches the pink. I would much prefer have that to be like on a white background. I guess I need to figure out what kind of full box I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use the pigs because I love them so much. Like pigs are my favorite. I swear to God, they're my spirit animal. Pigs and llamas and geese, but they have to be Canadian geese. My husband is Canadian. I love Canadians. Actually, do you know what? I have never met a Canadian that I didn't like. Actually, that's not true because I'm not a big fan of his mom. But other, other than her um, and a couple of select relatives who are nutters, um, there's no, hasn't been a Canadian that I haven't liked. Like you, if any of you are in Canada, I love you people. You're amazing. I spent three months, yeah, three months in Canada and it's like my second home, I swear. It's actually very, very similar. Some of the parts in Toronto are very, very similar to parts in Australia. Some of the landscaping um, is, is just is very much like reminds me of, of Australia when I was over there and I loved it. It was great. Although fun fact, I've only ever been in Canada in the snow. I've only ever been there in the winter time. Everyone tells me there's other, uh, other seasons, but I have yet to encounter them. So <laughs> I'm just going to take your word for it. Cause I have no idea. Alrighty, I, I have some cute little pink washi here that I'm going to use for my today header, which I always put down. Although I am thinking of changing this up a little bit. Where are my today headers actually? I found them, which I don't need just yet. So settle down, get your ducks in a row. What was I saying? I know I was talking about ducks. I was talking about Canada. Oh yeah, ducks. They're like one of my favorite animals ever. And cows. Oh my God. I just, I love farm animals so much. <laughs> that was like the most random thing to say. Oh God. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Right, I'm going to put that there. I love that. Oh my God. I love that so much. How can you not love these things? I love them so much. I'd like to have a little decorative piece right here. I really like this birdhouse, even though if you watch my first video I ever put out, you'll know how much I detest birds, but... I do like that. I think that's, I think that's really cute, but it could be too much pink. What about this one? Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, I love it. Oh, shut up. It's so cute. There's a uh, couple of things that I want to mark down on here to remember, like to reference, not, not reference, but remember highlight highlights the word I'm looking for. I love her boxes so much. I just love her kits, man. She's just makes the most beautiful kits. And I think if I had, printed all this stuff on that beautiful unicorn paper. I buy my unicorn paper from Stash World uh, and I'll have her linked in the description as well. But um, yeah, if I had sticker paper, I'm sorry, unicorn sticker paper, this would have come out so much more beautifully, I think. 
It's just such a bright white base to work on, like to print on. It's so pretty. Mm, I think I want to use, because I've got a couple of big things on Monday, so I'm going to need bigger boxes. There we go. So I'm going to leave it like that, and I'll come back and fill it in later. I'm not going to fill it in on camera because it's just make this video an hour long, and I don't want to do that to you. Okay, so for the second, for Tuesday, um, I think I'll use... What am I going to use? Oh, I like this bed one. I do like that bed picture. I think I will, I think I will use that one actually. So I'll just get my same washi. I really don't have a whole lot in the way of washies. I keep buying them from AliExpress. Um, but then I always buy kits that don't actually match my washi. So that's a problem. So I think what I'm, oh, that ripped. You prick. So I think what I'm going to have to do is start getting out the washies that I think I might like to use for the week and then buying kits to match that. Or I'll just start making my own washi. I don't mean washi like this. I'm not that talented. <laughs> and I don't have the money to do it. But I mean just, you know, washi strips that I can print out myself. That's crooked as hell. Oh, good on you. Okay, and my other green strip. We'll go down the bottom here. Oh, my God. So if you've seen any of my other videos where I have complained because I am not using removable sticker paper. I am still not using removable sticker paper. I don't learn it apparently. That looks so pretty. Oh my god, I love this kit so much. So this side is going to be slightly different than the other side because I like to have alternating sides. This is actually a layout that I have come back to a lot over the last month because I've just loved it. It's just beautiful and it works. And where's my full box? What was I doing? I was using the duck, wasn't I? No, the bed. I was using the bed. And it just works and I think it looks so pretty. I think this would have actually printed way, way better if it was on unicorn paper. That's okay though. It still looks pretty. So I like this layout a lot because it's very functional for me and I can still make it look really pretty. Even when I stuff it up and get the stickers crooked. And I absolutely love glitter headers. They are my favorite. They're my favorite, 100% my favorite. All right, and I want to use this little green header here. I love this green so much. Green's actually one of my favorite colors. I love it. There we go. Now for my today header, I'm almost out though. I don't think I'm, I'm definitely gonna not get the whole, the whole week in. There we go. All right, so Tuesday I had a couple of things happen. So I'll need two boxes. Actually, I worked on Tuesday, so I'll get to use the workbox on Tuesday. Uh, I think I'm going to actually use a light pink one, just because I like it better. And plus, I don't want to have, you know, the two beiges together. It's not really beige, really. It's like a brown or brown pink. I'm not sure. But I think this whole theme, this whole color kit, or sorry, I think this whole kit actually works with the cottage core theme that I'm going for. All right, so we're down to using the pink and white dotty spotty washi actually for the bottom because I'm out of the green it's unfortunate because the green was really really pretty oh I still have a green one so I have to go cut that down if there's any weird cuts in this video it's because I've been banging my head on my camera because my camera's literally right next to my head right now my neighbor just got home and uh he is talking to somebody on his uh speakerphone in his car in his truck and it's so loud so you guys actually might get to hear a bit of a conversation if you're lucky I don't understand why he does this. I don't actually understand people who do this in general. You know, why, why, <laughs> why are you having your conversations in your car with the person that you're talking to coming through your car speaker? I don't understand. Like the whole street can hear you. But he's got the sound up so loud. I feel like in editing, I'm going to be shocked, shocked if you can't hear him because he is so loud. Let's put the date down here. It's the third on Tuesday. And it's the fourth on Wednesday. So I figure actually what I'll do is if you like this style of video, let me know. And then if I do the same thing for next week, then I'll just come back and show you how I filled everything out for this week. Because I don't actually set this out. I don't I don't set my planners out this way normally. Um, I like to do it every single morning because it's like part of my morning routine and I just really like it. So this is a bit weird for me. Did I have a header there? I think I did actually. Yes, I did. So it's a bit weird for me actually to sit here and pre-lay everything down because this is something that I normally do every morning. Although this is much, ow, 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 much easier to do 
to pre-plan it or at least get the bones of it down and then I can just come in you know every day and write everything down that I need to get done at the moment this is kind of like a bit of a back plan because I've already written everything down in my personal weeks <laughs> my personal wide I should say quite a few things happened on Wednesday that I need to highlight and this will be good too this is actually getting me in some good practice because I ordered I pre-ordered the 2022 um, Wonderland 222 that's a mouthful and um, I'm really excited to get that because I'm going to use it as an actual memory planner which I have never done before so I'm actually really excited to try that oh sorry one of my kids came in and I completely have forgotten what I was saying I think I was talking about the Wonderland 222 so I'm getting one of those and oh yeah yeah the highlights that's right so yeah the highlights uh, are actually helping me because when I go to start doing my memory planning in the Wonderland 222, then I can just look back at these and, you know, be able to highlight pretty quick. Let's use the goose, the Canadian goose. I'm going to pretend they're Canadian because I love them. And I love that they're so violent. <laughs> Honestly, I do. I love, it's weird. I know it's weird. Don't judge me harshly or too harshly anyway. But I really just love uh, Canadian geese because, because of their violence. And I always joke to my husband, like all the time, that they have taken on all of the anger and negativity from their human counterparts in Canada because everyone in Canada is just so nice <laughs> for the most part at least I'm, I'm only going off personal experience so I have no idea if Canadian people are actually mean but I would like genuinely like to know if you happen to know anybody who's like really mean <laughs> who's Canadian because I don't think they exist and I'm not on a mission or anything to like find mean Canadian people but I'm genuinely curious I really really am do they actually exist I feel like something's crooked here. Something is crooked here. I wonder if I can bring this up. Probably not. I don't even know why I'm bothering. I don't even know why I'm trying. No, that was stupid. I will fix that later. Okay, so let's get another one of these down. But yeah, so that, that's my whole theory is that Canadian geese are taking on all of the negativity and hatred and anger from their human counterparts so their humans don't have to feel it. Change my mind. All right, so we need a big box here. I mean, you don't have to change my mind, actually. You can let me live in ignorant bliss. <laughs> do I want green there, though? No, I don't. I think what I'm going to do for next week, if I happen to do another plan with me set up, is print out more washi that comes with the kit. Because I know how to rip apart a kit and then just print out the bits that I want. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do because I'm sick of struggling with this thing. All right, let's get our last green strips down now. So we've got... Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday. So I always do Saturday and Sunday on the one day because I don't generally have enough going on of a weekend day to give them their own pages. And then I'll just put like a strip of washi down the center of the page to delineate the days. I was actually thinking about trying a different sort of layout for the weekend and making it maybe horizontal because I haven't done that in a while. And I'm trying to remember why I didn't like doing it before but I kind of just wanted to switch up the weekend days just a little bit at the moment I'm really happy with how my daily pages are going so I don't really want to change them and I want to just do a nice little or a, just a little there we go um mark on my page so I know where to run the washi down so maybe I won't run it vertically and I might just do it horizontally because I want to use the cottage for my whole cottage core theme I may regret this because I really I actually have no idea what I'm doing I'm winging it completely winging it so oh, maybe I should just stick it in the middle I was going to stick it down the bottom here and then just work around that but I think what I'm going to actually just get rid of some of the sticky ow and hair by the looks of it I think I'm just going to stick it here actually and then I'll regret it after as is usual for me Yes, all right, let's do that. Ow, ow, ow. Now that I'm nearly done with my spread, I uh, suppose I should tell you, I don't really have any stories for you today. I normally do. Normally in, in pretty much every video that I have put up so far, I've had stories to tell you, which a lot of you really seem to enjoy. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel a bit bad that I don't have anything to tell you. We'll get down the rest of the date headers, or sorry, date dots. I would like a something here, actually. What do I have here? I think I have an extra photo. Actually, I've got several extra pictures. I like this, the flower market. Let me just put that. Oh, no, hang on. Look, stop. I'm making too many rash decisions. Because what, oh, what if we put her down next to her house? You know, like she's spent the after she spent the afternoon picking flowers from her beautiful garden around her cottage. So what if we just put that there? 
I mean, I can't do anything about it once it goes down. I can't rip it up because it's not removable. So even if it looks terrible, we're stuck with it. But it doesn't look so bad, so I'm okay with it. How about this? looks okay I have more space on Sunday instead of Saturday so <laughs> hopefully I won't be doing very much on Saturday maybe I'll do more stuff on Sunday oh I have to finish off Friday I forgot I didn't do that all right let's get that one down did we choose a oh maybe I'll use the flower market photo for this one actually picture for this one so um, I'm going to use the green glitter headers because we haven't I haven't used those yet I keep saying we but it's really me that's doing it so sorry about that there we go And I actually don't know what's going on on Friday. I don't have any plans currently because, you know, lockdown. But I'm sure something will happen. And I've been putting the COVID count anyway of our local cases. So I can always just put it in there if I don't need it for anything else. All right, there we go. That's fine. And then my today sticker. Oh, I kind of like this little bunny. Let's use the bunny. I love bunnies. They're illegal in Queensland, so we can't ever have them as pets. But I love them. Oh, that's so cute. You know what? I'm really happy. I actually really like how this has turned out. I would like to use a little bit more deco though. Maybe we'll do the chicky in the teacup. Where am I gonna put the chicky in the teacup here? Oh, yeah, that looks cute. We'll do the chicky in the teacup right there. Oh, I really like that. This is such a cute spread. Let's take a look at this from the beginning. You know what? I could actually use some deco here. I wanted to use my weekend. Actually, I still can. So, I've never actually used a weekend sticker before. Oh, I really like how that's turned out. And I think I actually like that. So let's just take another look through. We have my overview for the week, which I have to come back and fill in the dinners. Um, and then on each day, you know, the things that are supposed to be happening. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that is it. That is my weekly setup. I have to say, I actually really enjoyed setting this up with you. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you really like this type of video, then I will be happy to do them again for you. I actually had a really good time doing this and I really enjoyed it. I just hope that, you know, setting it up for the week in advance is going to work for me. and I'm not going to feel like I'm missing out on something because I've, you know, it's not my daily routine anymore. Only time will tell on that. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really do hope that you enjoyed it and I'll chat with you all next time. Bye everybody.